Hey everyone, Jack Reeve, Talk Norwich City here, back for the first match day experience in quite some time actually. Um, yeah, it feels like ages since we've been at Carrow Road as well. It's Rotherham up today. Rotherham struggling a little bit, although I've looked at the form. They're seven unbeaten. They're, they're well drilled on the poor wall and it's not going to be easy today. Us, of course, coming off the back of that fairly frustrating draw against Hull, but we're still, I think, seven unbeaten, aren't we? And top of the league. If we win today, we remain top. Slightly disappointed with the injury news. Morris Light is out. I think he's probably one of the best players in the league on his day. And Onel Hernandez is out injured as well, which is a bit disappointing. Um, I want to know if you guys, do you still enjoy the matchday experiences? Like, um, I don't know. What could I change to make them better if, if you have lost enjoyment slightly? Of course, we're still governed by EFL rules slightly, which is annoying, but look, I'm, I'm trying my best. Also, massive thank you to everyone who's entered the Credo competition. I plugged it in the match preview. I think we've already raised well over £50 just from your donations, and that takes the total for the year to over two and a half grand. Um, if you don't know, you can win a massive hamper worth over £75 if you donate at least £2 to the Credo um, Just Giving page. All of the proceeds go to the Community Sports Foundation, of course, Norwich's official charity. Right, uh, let's get going. It is grim outside today, like really grim. Windy, rainy, grey. Not nice. Let's hope uh, the football at Carrow Road warms us up slightly. I'm now about to leave. A couple of pints at Redwell, onto the ground. Happy days. Let's do this. Fortunately, dogs can't attend the games, so Bud's gonna have a little chilled on, got his little cigar, good old boy, and it's vital that they stay informed with the game. So, I always like to leave Radio Norfolk on so he can listen into Gorham's commentary. He's sorted. Pink leg warmers is the look to keep warm this winter. Love that from her. It is controversial as my stripy roll neck. Might be worth noting that this guy, Marek Rodak, scored for his country in midweek it, from, from, from goalkeeper. Impressive, watch out, Marek Rodak. Will he score another today? The size of Chris Domangala's biceps. One absolute unit. He looks like Prince of Wales doorman. What a boy, Chris Domangala. Chris, nice of you to turn up, mate, and not go on a little European city break. Thank you. Well, likewise. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm feeling confident. I feel um, full of energy, full of life. Um, we were just discussing Ipswich still being bottom and the fact they're not going to win in the next two games, at least. Um, we've got a really big chance here today to cement ourselves at the top of the league, make another statement to those around us and show what we can do. We are obviously missing a couple of key players, but I'm more than comfortable that Todd Cantwell and Mario Vrancic can come and, and, and deliver. Look at Manson over there in the background. Look at him. Now, he has got a turtleneck on, influenced by myself. Influenced by the fact that he's got a little squeeze lined up, I think. Has he? With yeah. who? Moritz? Is he injured no, Moritz's groin? Yeah, Mr. Manson is well and truly on the ball. Is he? Look at him. He loves it, doesn't he? New haircut, got his socks on. Yeah, Manson. <laughs> Question, why aren't Rotherham wearing their home kit? It's red, red does not clash with yellow. That annoys me, man. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Tim Pot Tampa does it again. <laughs> the one thing that could have possibly made me sad after that first half, and that was a Tim Pot Tampa halftime game. <laughs> Chris, that first half, mate. Shoddy from the boys. Uh, yeah, not the races, uh, not quick enough, not fast enough, not positive enough as the three line song goes. Missing Leitner? Uh, missing Hernandez? I think we're missing Leitner, definitely. I just feel like the players have succumbed to Rotherham's style of football. We're not playing on the floor. I don't know why we're playing chip three balls for 
it's, it's, all, it's all far too fancy and credit where credit's due to Rotherham. They're playing simple stuff, they're keeping on the floor, they're being aggressive. It must be the record though for time being wasted that early. They were wasting time on 38 minutes. I mean, that's shocking. But overall, we absolutely deserve to be behind. Um, and I'm not going to blame the referee for not getting control of the game. Are we blaming Tim Krull or not? You want to blame Tim Krull? Well, spilled it. Mate, I do think defenders should be following up. I also think a fair play to Rotherham. Hit it hard and low when it's raining. And, and those types of goals are going to go in. Have Norris City had a good shot on target yet? No, they haven't. And that, for me, is nowhere near good enough. Well, 45 minutes to turn it around. Shoot towards the back. I'm confident. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go for 3 1 Norris. Let's do this. The football league we go when we win the title. This is what we say. We are no super nice soccer as our king. E-I-E-I-E-I-O Up the football league we go When we win this I-O This is what we say We are no super nice fuckers Joy City! Right, Jack We are top of the league, sir We are top of the league We are top of the league, sir We are top of the league Go on, Timmy yeah. Oh, 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 Well then, that turned into a very happy day at Cow Road. Excellent, excellent second half performance there from Norwich. I thought Todd Cantwell had his best performance in a Norwich shirt and he's put in a lot of good performances for Norwich, but that was sublime today for him. A wonderfully taken goal, a fantastic pass of the second and just buzzing about the pitch. Buendia was brilliant. Puki, I thought, had a bit of an off day but still scored, which shows the calibre of striker he is. And there was a real good feeling around the place after that. I, I feel like we needed that win big time after the... Well, it certainly wasn't you know, a, a bad result against Hull, but it was a little bit frustrating to come to Cow Road and put in a convincing you know, three points is, is good. It's very good. Still top of the league. Haven't looked at the table, but with Sheffield United losing, I guess that makes a bit of a gap between us and the rest of the pack. Depends what Middlesbrough do, of course. Ipswich lost again. Um, not much of a shock there. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and, uh, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.